Hi everyone, it's Tara Bianca with Be Light Transformative Therapy. And today I wanted to make a quick video to start to draw together the connection between your breathing, your nervous system, and your perception of the world. I think we can all agree that each of us has a completely unique personal reality that gets projected out into the world based on all the stuff going on inside of our heads, right? So what are some of the things that affect our perceptions of the world? Well, we have our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, our judgments, our interpretations, our stories, our beliefs, and on and on and on. So those things shape how we perceive our external environment, but how are they connected back into our internal environment? Well, every thought, feeling, emotion, judgment, etc. that you have sparks some type of physiological response. I'm sure you've experienced this a million times in your life. Think of a time when you were really angry. What does that anger feel like in your body? It's all consuming, right? Your blood pressure starts to go up, your breathing accelerates, maybe your breathing feels incredibly heavy. Maybe you feel swollen, like you're going to explode. Anger is stressful. It causes an inflammatory response in the body. We even use that language to describe that feeling. We'll say something like, I'm so inflamed right now, right? And that's the truth. Anger is inflammatory. What else is stressful and inflammatory in that way? Grief is stressful. Shame is stressful. Guilt is stressful. Anxiety is stressful. These are events that usually begin in the mental body with a thought like, oh, that person makes me so angry, which then extend to start influencing the emotional body. I feel angry. I feel inflamed, which then extend to the physical body. My blood vessels start constricting. My blood pressure goes up. My heart rate accelerates. My respiratory rate is accelerating. My sympathetic response is firing, meaning I'm in fight or flight mode. And I see the world around me as something that's dangerous, as something that's threatening, as something that's unfair, as something that I need to fight against, or as something that I need to run away from. Your nervous system response is driving this reaction that you're experiencing, but your reaction is also continuing to drive your nervous system response. As long as your perception continues to be, I have to fight against this thing, and your heart rate and your respiratory rate remain elevated, you're going to continue to feed back to your brain and your nervous system to remain in fight or flight mode. You're stuck in a loop. When this continues for too long, it can show up as emotional instability, as a mental health crisis potentially as a physical health crisis potentially, something like a heart attack or a stroke. It can show up as a breakdown. This is what happened to me just a few weeks ago. In fact, I made a video about it. You're in crisis because your nervous system, your physiology, and your perceptions are stuck in this loop, continually feeding each other. This whole event, this whole breakdown, literally started as a seed, as a thought in your head, but it kept growing and growing and growing, recruiting more and more of your being. So now, how do we break in? How do we interrupt the loop? How do we choose a new perception and start to calm things down? There might be a lot of techniques, but I think one of the fastest is to consciously use your breathing. So how do we do that? And why would that work? Well, the depth, speed, and volume of your breathing directly determines the response coming from your nervous system, which then directly determines your physiological reactions. So in this instance, I'm angry, I'm anxious, I'm in grief. My heart rate is accelerated, my breathing is accelerated, my breathing is shallow, my breathing is upper chest. But I've been learning about breath awareness and I have some tools in my breathing tool belt that I want to start to explore in this scenario. So I consciously decide to actively slow down my breath, to really deepen it, 
to fully utilize my diaphragm, to really get the lower ribs to expand, to really get my belly to expand, to keep my chest and my neck relatively still. What's happening? My breathing is starting to send a new signal to my nervous system. My breathing is telling my brain I'm safe. My environment is safe. There's nothing threatening my life. I can pause. I can put down my guard. I don't have to be so defensive. There's nothing to run away from and there's nothing to hide from. My parasympathetic response is starting to activate. And with it, it brings a new set of physiological reactions. My blood vessels start to dilate. My blood pressure goes down. My heart rate slows down. There's a greater sense of ease and calm coming over my body. I have greater clarity. I have a more open visual field and a more open perspective. My world, my external environment, has not even really necessarily changed in any way but my internal environment has changed dramatically and that has allowed my perception of the world around me to be altered completely. This is rest and digest mode. This is recovery. This is regeneration. This is healing. This new space that I've gotten myself into, this down-regulated, relaxed state, this is how I begin to heal. Beyond just breathing, This principle is at the core of every holistic treatment, therapy, modality, intervention that you'll ever receive. Your practitioners are not there to heal you. They're there to create the right environment that allows you to finally feel safe enough to lower your guard and relax your defenses so that the natural healing mechanisms that already exist within your body can finally be activated, and you can finally begin to heal yourself. You are your own best healer. Don't let anyone tell you differently. I hope this video was interesting for you. I would love to hear your feedback along with any personal experiences where you used your breath to shift from absolute crisis mode into a place of total calm and total focus. Or I'd also love to hear about any remarkable healing experiences that you were able to achieve by shifting your internal environment. If you feel like sharing, I'd love to hear from you. Please feel free to leave a comment below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Also, please check out my totally free Breath Basics six day challenge my next four-week breath boot camp, which is coming up in March, and I'm offering my YouTube viewers 20% off with code BOOTCAMP20, and then also my private online Be Light community. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, you may do so by visiting my Buy Me a Coffee page. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.